Right, so a couple of people have written to me who've upgraded to OS 3 and asked me, can you do a step-by-step -step guide because you've got to like delete your old phone and then reinstall it on the preview. So I've done it and having made the video, it sort of seems complicated. So in an effort to make it even easier, I also created a spreadsheet and I'll put the link in the description below. And basically I've given you step-by-step -step screenshots highlighted yellow where you need to navigate both on the PIVI screen and on your phone. Now, bear in mind that if you're upgrading from a previous version of OS, the operating system on the PIVI to OS 3, you will need to do this first, these first two steps, the pink bit. If you've just got your car and it's after, after now, about November 2021, you just have to follow these last steps here, which is this one, and careful because it does go on to a second page. So, Whichever way you either follow my video when you're sat in the car or print this out or open this PDF, it may be easier to go through this step by step. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the functionality you get with this wireless CarPlay. Let me know if you've got any questions. Right, you join us in the car and we are gonna set up Apple CarPlay. So Apple CarPlay, is it child's play? It should be, it's fairly straightforward. So we are gonna give you a brief introduction, someone's asked for this, of how to link your phone to your PIVI Pro system in your Land Rover slash Jaguar. Right, the way it works, CarPlay is really good. It actually sets up, the car sets up a Wi-Fi network. There are some Wi-Fi transmitters behind the dash here. It sets up a Wi-Fi network that your phone connects to. And it actually sends the data over Wi-Fi, which is much quicker than Bluetooth. So your audio quality should be better and it can send the map data much quicker. But it's a bit weird in that, and this is the same, this is not a Land Rover thing or anything. It's the, to pair your phone to the PIVI Pro system, it uses Bluetooth, but only for the initial pairing. Then when it's set up, it transmits Wi-Fi and it's really quick and really super. So I have written some instructions and we are gonna go through these instructions step by step. So this is with the OS 3 and Land Rover really cool with the operating system 3 update, it allowed you to do this. You couldn't do it before. And if you've got OS 3, you'll have these two icons here, the one for the phone signal strength and the one for the car eSIM signal strength. Right, so how do we do this? The first thing we need to do is delete all the phones on your PIVI Pro system because the way they were set up before was not right. So you need to delete them and redo it. So if we go into settings here and you go connectivity, let's have a look, Bluetooth, Okay, and you can see I've got George's phone and my phone. And what we can do, we just need to click into each one of these. We've got to forget this device. Um, yeah, forget device. So go down to the bottom, forget it. It's gone, right then. George, again, go down to the bottom, forget this device. So now in Bluetooth, you've got no devices. Step one, done. And then what you've got to do is you've got to delete the Land Rover from the Bluetooth on your phone because you did have a connection there before. Oh look, it's woken up Pivi. Right, don't worry, don't worry. Right, so here we go. So if we go into settings on your phone and right then we need to go into Bluetooth. Make sure your Bluetooth is on. Now I've got loads of things here, but the one that on my car is Land Rover Defender. So if I go into that one, press the I, there we go. And it, it was, I need to delete that. So I go forget this device forget this device. You probably won't have as many as this, I've got loads, right. So, so there we go, so we have done step one and two. We've deleted the phones from the PIVI, we've deleted the PIVI from the phone, so they don't know each other, they're strangers now. Then you've got to make sure the wireless is turned on on the PIVI system. So if we go, again, we're in the settings menu here, and then if we go, it's not Wi-Fi, it's the hotspot. Now this is a new thing that we didn't have before. So if we go on this one, and we've got the hotspot wireless on. Now take a note of this name here. Oh, sorry. Take a note of this. So this is actually part of my chassis number. So that is what we will be connecting. That is the Wi-Fi network the car will set up that the phone will connect to. Okay, right then. Make sure you can see the car Wi-Fi network on your phone. So I'm, but that's Bluetooth, so we need to get out of Bluetooth, go on to Wi-Fi, and look, it's found it. So you can see that there. Now, you need to be a bit careful because on my car, I've got the Land Rover dash cam. 
Now the Land Rover dash cam actually sets up a wireless network that my phone connects to. You can see it here. So make sure it connects to, and if it goes to the dash cam, you may have to disable that one or make that not auto connect. And I'm gonna go into this one here, all right? And we are gonna make sure auto join is enabled. Okay, so we've got auto joined. So every time it sees that, it will connect. So every time we get in the car and it powers up, it will connect. Right, we are flying through this. So now I'm ready to add the new device. So I'm ready to repair these now. So if we just go back on this menu here, and then we go to connectivity, um, we need to be on Bluetooth, scroll down, Bluetooth. Right, and we need to add a new device. So it doesn't know this. Right, it says use your device to search for Land Rover. So if I go back onto, so this is what I was saying about Bluetooth. So I need to go back onto Bluetooth on my phone now. Okay, and then let's have a look. It's searching for devices and it's found Land Rover Defender. Okay, and we do that now. It'll probably give us a code. It says verify this number is displayed on the phone. Now you've got to do this bit in the right order. Let's go pair on that one first. Allows contacts, that's good. And then let's do the, far, the, the system. Right, it's got it. Ooh. Right, S, right, SJ works with enable CarPlay, yes. Right, so this is now showing me the, for this phone. It's, it, it gives me the option to disconnect, so I don't want to do that, and it gives me what I use it for, and I can use it for messaging, and it's the default device. And also, you want to auto-connect this device. Now, I think that's, that's shaded out, because it's my default device, I think it, it's that, but you want to make sure you've got those there. Okay, right we are all ready to go so we've now got that set up right use carplay we've got to go yeah use carplay there and then we should all be set up right bluetooth carplay right whoa, whoa, whoa. now look we've got the symbol there now and carplay's all come up so we are all connected and now um a couple of interesting things to note you will notice now that the phone here the symbol of the phone in this menu you see it's got that little that is now using the CarPlay. If it's got that little, and like navigation at the moment isn't, but if I select Waze, so if you look there, and if we if we set the navigation on this, then the navigation will have a little CarPlay, a little phone signal come up. If you press this tiled section here, that will show you all the apps I've got installed that are running, or that you can run. There we go, Waze. Um, so let's just show you. So the, the car's now got two operating modes. It's got like the CarPlay mode and it's got the PIVI mode. Now if I do a long press on the voice control button here, that will engage the CarPlay. If I do a short press, that will engage the PIVI system. So let's try a long press. Navigate to Buckingham Palace using Waze getting directions to Buckingham Palace using Waze. Right, now, there we go, we're gonna to go to Buckingham Palace. How long is it gonna take us? Just a couple of hours, look at that. Now, can you see the navigation symbol now has got that little phone on it? So, it, so just so that you know whether you're using the car navigation or the CarPlay navigation, right, that's all, because I didn't want this to be a using CarPlay, just how to set it up. Now the only thing that I got stuck on was that it wouldn't work for me because I was still connected to the dash cam. So make sure you disconnect the dash cam Wi-Fi because your phone can only connect to one Wi-Fi system. Any problems, I'll offer whatever help I can. Let me know in the comments, but there you go, good luck with that.